Euphoria. <laughs> Euphoria! I love Euphoria so much! Oh I my gosh! You. I'm Rue. I did a BuzzFeed quiz and I'm Rue. I'm the main character. <laughs> she hasn't seen any of it. I have not seen any of it, but I've heard how mm. people are saying it's good. Is it good? It is very, very I'm good. Rue. I'm an addict. Jewel, um, I don't really like Jules anymore right now. Is she really playing a role of an addict? Ooh. Fire show, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. I know. Unless you're under <laughs> 18. <laughs> Tell me how much of the show you've seen. Miles, you've seen it I'm all? I'm caught up. I've seen everything. I started watching because of her. I've never seen an episode, but I've heard about it. To be honest, I couldn't really get through all of first season. I mean, it was really Why? hard. Because <laughs> I'm in shock <laughs> that she's watching this. I've got an idea. Oh what? my god, that scene. You wanna get high? Didn't you just get out of rehab? She was in rehab. Yes. Yeah. They're in love, mom. Oh, okay. See, I didn't get to them. Just the soundtrack, too. So good. Oh my god. To think, like, back on it now and how wholesome their relationship used to be. This is such a different role for her, honestly. <laughs> I know you're not allowed to say it. The drugs are kind of cool. Are drugs cool, Mom? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, drugs are not cool. The thing is, it's about like the artistic element yeah, of the show. Yeah, but it depends who's watching it. You gotta. I guess so. I don't know. Is this reality? <laughs> is this how high school? Well, started? I went to public high school, and I definitely would say that there are kids who go or through stuff like, like this, this for sure. I don't know. I mean, it's making me realize like what's out there. I feel, you know? I feel like. I just, yeah, but like have a clue. they're not trying to hide, like anything. Right. You know, they're admitting to the fact that she likes drugs. I asked you a simple question. You make Where everything. My money? For? Back up. It's okay. Who's that, mom? I don't care. It's forty. It's forty. I don't care. What do you want? What do you mean? What, what the do you want? Get out my face. Exactly. <laughs> that. Bitch, mom, you're such a f***ing bitch. Oh, <gasps> bitch, because you just f***ing sat. Shut your no! ass. Ooh. Ooh. Poor Gia. And she's she's so I felt. Yeah, what if I, I screamed at you like that, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. But I had my wild days. I screamed at my mom, so I felt that. <laughs> I get heated. She doesn't yeah, no, really I don't... respond that way. It is disrespectful, but you also got to know that this your kid needs help. You have yeah. to see it. Not today, Rue. That's our boy. Right. Can you open the door, please? I'm not gonna help you kill yourself, Rue. Don't close the door. Your dropout drug dealer with seven functioning. Brain cells. Open the door. I can't do it. Open the door. Sorry. Open the door. Open the door. You ruined my life. You did this to me. But he did try to stop it, though. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's why we like Fez. You know, he could have just taken her True. money. Yeah, he's probably seen enough. Yeah, that's for why. Sure. Are you sure you're okay? So she just met up with this like catfish, but it turns out to actually be one of this other girl's boyfriends. This is like where it goes all the way around. Oh wow. Look how they filmed this. Why is she going out with other guys though? Like if she's with- They weren't dating yet. Oh, they're just messing around? Yeah. They were friends with benefits. Her having this um, emotional moment kind of drew them together into that position. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it looks like they're already a couple. <laughs> You know, she's very vulnerable with all the, what's happening to her. She developed this addiction to drugs, mm. and then she saw an addiction to that relationship. jewels, but she didn't think it was a bad thing. And that's okay, because she needs that constant support from wherever she's looking. You may have won the game. Oh my god, this scene was crazy. This part's scary. Take a step back, Nate. I said, take a step back. So, Nate has some anger issues. Okay. Oh my god, watch this. Oh god, what? Does he also not have a good relationship with his dad? Yeah. Um, he's a terrible dad. That's why he's the way he's the way he is, because the father. Uh, Do 
Jeez. Every time he's on the screen, I worry. <laughs> How do you expect him to be a healthy, living human being and you're playing with his head and you're physically assaulting him? I feel like the reason he got to that point is because he suppressed all of it. Oh, it's very real. Um, I had a brother, same, my brother, I think I've, I, we've done an episode about it, right? Mm -hmm. About drugs and all that. Anyway, so my brother's not here anymore. He passed away. And he was the same way. He had anger issues, basically. So that, to me, felt real. Bro, it was your... Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> so Rue came up with this idea and was like, let's just leave town, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Jules was like, okay, why not? Okay. And then Rue was like, wait. Just kidding, I don't want to do it anymore. Rue has been sober because of Jules. Okay. Now she's starting to think about her family and her mom and she, how she doesn't want to leave. This is sad. And then Jules ends up leaving her. Oh, so well, To go to the city. And then the night that Jules leaves her, she relapses again. You have all these teenagers dealing with their problems, but most of it is all from like, figuring out a way to not be selfish, you know, and it's not out of like bad intent, mm -hmm. but it's also not grasping the full picture of mm -hmm. what Rue's going through. Yeah. I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but- Don't bring Gia into this. No. Or maybe an astronaut, because if not, then mom is O for too, and that means mm. that it might actually just be her fault. Okay, that's be enough. Be honest. That's enough. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You want to hit me? Shut the Do it. Oh my god. Get the off of me! Don't you fing touch her! Oh. Get out! Get the fing out of here! Oh. This scene was crazy. Oh my god, this poor kid. Poor sister. She had this whole suitcase of a bunch of pills, uh -huh. and uh, her friends like kind of ratted her out. You put the pills. Where did you put mm. the pills? <sighs> and her friends were listening the whole time. And she didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You're a rat. You were lying to me. Yeah. So you go tell my mom. You and me, we're done. I love you. No, you don't. Stop saying that! Dang. You don't love me! It's so I, sad when you try to help people who don't really want to help exactly. themselves. It has to start from them. It's hard for families to remember that, that this is the illness talking or this is, you know, a reaction from drugs. So they just have to learn how to tune it out. And why it breaks my heart to see the, the sister mm -hmm. seeing that, because it's how do you explain it to a younger sibling? Yeah. I'll never f***ing end. <laughs> this is so bad. This is the best, but not the best. The people you love, this can't make you feel good about yourself. I can't get clean. So she kept trying to run away. And this is kind of like the intervention. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Cassie. Not right now. You don't have to. Just take it, take it one, one day, day at a time. time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a quick question for you. She's so proud. How long have you been? Nate Jacobs. <laughs> That's Nate Jacobs is yeah. her ex. Yeah. But yeah, they were like mad in love, and they weren't yeah. good for each other. First of all, Let's your get brother that explained to me the scene. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's another issue, another teenager issue there. I saw her get in this truck and then kiss him and drive off. That was like what, like a. Get her, Maddie. No, I get friends, her. Right? Best get friends. her. No, yeah. Beat her up, Maddie. I don't even know why she would say that. No. <laughs> okay. Stand here next to my best friend who's been lying to me about. So much going on. My ex boyfriend, I'm yeah. okay. Literally, Literally gonna violent. <laughs> Literally gonna get violent. <laughs> you dumb. <laughs> my bitch. God. I'm gonna go. <laughs> she runs. Guys, come on. <laughs> Screw Cassie, yeah, dude. That was her plan. Every episode, they've gone through the backstory of telling why that character is the way they are. It gives you a more sense of their humanity yeah. and mm -hmm. how far 
they've come essentially either in a good way or a bad way. So the show has received a lot of criticism for glorifying mm -hmm. the use of drugs, but as you saw, it also explores the lows that come with drug addiction. So what do you think? Does it glorify drugs in a way that could be harmful to teens that are watching the show? I don't think it glorifies it. I think it's real life. I don't think it glorifies it. I think it might really scare the living, you know what, out of them. I don't think their intention is to glorify, you know, for the teens to see how it is, but then in reality, there's also going to be teens that are not as strong as you, and they will see it in a different way. Do you think that it's dangerous for teens to watch this show? Like For some teens, yes. I did not realize this is what the show, how, how graphic it was. Even with the sex scenes and the show and the penises and all the stuff that they show, I didn't know that. I think the more real they are, showing it, then it's going to open their eyes. Like, this is what's actually going on. And this is how quickly you can become addicted. It's an eye-opener for parents, but like, high schoolers see it firsthand every day. So do you think um, college just should be for college kids mostly? Once you, like, 18-year-olds and above should be no, the No, I mean, it just depends on your maturity level and how you take it. Zendaya has said that if you can love Rue after what she's been through, maybe you can extend that love to the people in real life. Mm -hmm. Yes. So to wrap up this episode, how do you think that this show might change someone's perspective of what young folks, of what addicts go through? A lot of people, when they see drug addicts in real life, they're like, okay, like stay away from them, let them figure, yeah. out it, figure it out on their own. When that is not the case, as much as you think they're pushing you away, they're really begging you for help. It might be hard, but when once they come to you and when they're ready, you need to be there for them. A lot of the intention is to create these dynamic characters. And I don't think it's gonna necessarily solve, or it can, because as long as that understanding is there in the first place, then you can work through it. And there's an awareness that it exists mm -hmm. rather than not acknowledging these problems at all. Hey guys, it's Sierra. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you or someone you love is struggling with any of the topics that are explored in the show Euphoria or that we discussed in our episode today, we've put some links down in the description to resources that can help. Thanks guys, bye.